Hey, and welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> On this video, I want to talk about a bike that comes from a company out of Canada and they're called Fabulous E-Bikes or Fabulous Bikes <clears throat> and they're out of Montreal, Quebec and they have some uh, pretty cool looking bikes on their site and I want to talk about one of those bikes today and that bike is called the Shadow Step Scrambler now the Shadow Step is a 48 volt 1000 watt motor <clears throat> And I will leave a link in the description. And if you go to their site to look at their bikes, they are listed in Canadian dollars. So you'll want to take <clears throat> about 30% off <clears throat> if you're in the US. And so anyway, uh, getting back to the uh, Shadow Step Scrambler, so it's a 48 volt, as I mentioned, 1000 watt motor. That's a rear hub motor, geared. It also has a 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. Uh, and you have the option of getting single battery or dual battery. And uh, so the single battery, or the dual battery, I mean, would give you 40 amp hour. Um, which would be uh, pretty darn nice, I would say. And some other things that this bike has. is the seat height is interesting because it's kind of hard to please everybody right oh, we're all different shapes and sizes you know that's just the way life is so it's hard to please everybody right the taller folks want the higher seat which is understandable but then we've got the shorter folks that say that the bikes are too darn high you know you can't get on them they're hard to get on and so this bike here is perfect for that because it has a 30 inch height if you're shorter it's a 30 inch seat height I don't know of any other e-bike that has that short of a seat height on it and so that bike may not be for anybody that's say over six feet tall they may not want this bike that may turn them immediately off of the bike but there's a lot of folks out there and a lot of women out there that aren't anywhere close to that height so a 30 inch seat height is probably gonna do well for for you and The bike has a, uh, I should talk about the brakes. It has uh, hydraulic uh, brakes. The tires are 20 by four inch Kenda Crusade tires. It does come with fenders as well as a rear rack. Headlight, tail light, and I'm not sure if there's brake light or not.
The bike does have a horn. It comes in three different colors. It comes in blue, white, and black. And let me think of anything else uh, that I haven't said yet. Uh, the bike weight is 80 pounds. Looks really good. Uh, um, I like the look of the bike. Uh, let me see what else. I didn't give the price yet, so I want to. I want to give the price. So, in Canadian dollars, if you buy the two battery, the dual battery setup, which would give you a 40 amp hour, it's it's uh, Canadian. It's 28.99. So if you convert that out right now to the uh, conversion rate, which I have done for this video. It puts it down to uh, $2,100 US. Pretty darn good deal for 40 amp hours of battery, 1,000 watt motor, 48 volt, not bad at all. And if you buy just a single battery, you don't want the dual, a 20 amp hour, that is $500 less. So it's $28.99 for the dual battery Canadian. It's $23.99 for the single battery Canadian. And that works out when I put it through the currency calculator today, $1,738. So if you just want the single battery, $1,738. But so they're charging $500 for a 20 amp hour 48 volt battery, which is pretty darn good. And if you convert that $500 uh, Canadian to American, that's only $362 right now. So basically, you're getting a 20 amp hour battery, 48 volt extra for, for $362. To me, it's a no brainer. I mean, if you're gonna buy that bike and spend that kind of money, and you have an opportunity to get another battery, 20 amp hour to go with your other 20 to make 40, it's worth, definitely worth $362 uh, American. So I would go for it. Um, but that's me. And some people might not want to spend that additional money. But, but overall, a really good bike. I think looking at the colors for me personally, I would pick the black one. But uh, they're all good. I mean, I wouldn't be too picky on any of the colors. I like them all, but uh, if I was just to pick out one, I would probably choose the black one myself. But uh, overall, a really cool bike. Uh, I'm gonna leave a, a link in the description to, uh, to uh, have you uh, check that out if you want, and you can get the full specs right there. They have a lot of numbers on the bike I may have missed some uh, that I've forgotten or, or whichever but uh, you can get the full specs as I say right at their uh, link there and I'll leave that as I say in my descriptions but uh, a really nice bike I mean I was just browsing around today And I saw that bike and I thought, wow, you know, how did I not see that before? Anyway, um, <clears throat> so uh, 
I wanted to share that with everyone. Um, there may be some people out there that are probably saying, oh yeah, I know, I know all about that company, or I've, I've seen them before, but for some reason, I may have seen them before, but I just didn't remember, but um, when I saw that bike and I saw the pricing and, and 40 amp hour of battery, and that was Canadian, I thought, $28.99, you know, I thought, wow, if you convert that down to American, $2,100. Because, let's face it, a lot of our money for the e-bike, the, the big value is in the batteries, right? And, uh, unless you customize your bike, not very many bikes I can't think of, um, especially a 48 volt, but not many bikes come with a, uh, 40 amp hours of battery, you know, that's, that's a lot. And they're claiming with the speaking of the battery they are claiming that the uh, range is going to be between 80 and 200 kilometers i guess depending on your uh, which whether you have the one battery setup or the two battery setup but uh so converting that over so 80 kilometers is 50 miles and 100 or 200 kilometers is 120 miles. So there you go. That's what they're claiming between 50 and, and 120 miles. And uh, I suggest if you're looking for a bike uh, for this summer or spring, check them out. Fabulous e-bikes. They're at. Uh, Or I, I should say I'll leave a link as I mentioned earlier in the descriptions and go check them out. See what you think. So if you have a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave it in the comments uh, below. I do my best to get to all the comments and read them all. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, and I thank you for subscribing, hit that subscribe button. <clears throat> And if you'd like to be notified as to when the next video will come up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll get notified. So once again, thank you for coming along for the ride on this video. And until next time. Take care.